Welcome back to the road show this morning. The buzz a billboard showing what appears to be a baby drinking from a beer bottle is getting lots of attention in rural Connecticut. And that is good news to state health officials who are trying to get the message out about the dangers of underage drinking. Take a look at this billboard here, and you'll see in just a second that it shows a billboard with a baby bottle. And there's a tighter picture. That's a better shot. Then there's a shot of a couple of teenagers, beer uh, in hand, surrounded by empties. And basically, <laughs> they're trying to bring attention to underage drinking by saying it's not any safer when you're an infant than when you're 15. Also telling parents you wouldn't give beer to a, an infant, so why would you give beer to a, a child of a different age? Mm -hmm. What yep. do you guys think? I think it's dumb. I really do. do. Honestly, I mean, it's like... the. It, no one's giving the, the beer to the baby. I understand that yeah. that's not the point of it, but this advertisement's not going to change it. Wow, that baby has a beer bottle. No, but it does make you stop and look. And as a matter of fact, we're talking about it on the show today well, because it's true. Because quite it's shocking. ridiculously like shocking. Right, exactly. exactly. And I think half of marketing is getting people's attention. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I just think the, the the type of you're people talking that, about it. I'm talking about it, but I'm not giving it my 15 year old son or daughter that I don't have. Thank God. Uh, well, you uh, don't drink beer. anyway. I don't drink. I'm a non-drinker. Yeah. yeah. But I just don't think that this works. I don't think a lot of the advertising that you see out there for non-drinking and uh, being against drugs actually works. Yeah. Sometimes it encourages because they make a joke out of it. I think I think you're right. I think you, I think people are still trying to figure out what works in this situation. But what do you think? Well, I agree with it, but but I don't have a problem with it at all. Um, I'm not sure that it's incredibly effective. But I'm not offended by it in any way. Um, you know, I, I agree with, with Sean in, in, in some form or fashion that, uh, you know, some 15 or 16 year old kid looking at it is, gonna, is actually going to laugh at it as right. opposed to look at it and say, wait a minute, this, this is something I need to think about. But, but what about people? I think some of the things that I've seen before that have been heavily criticized have more of an effect when you show the effects yeah. of people who have been killed, exactly. yeah. of cars that have been mangled, right. and things of that nature have much more of an effect on a kid than, than something like that. Here's an well, effect that I think would be good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt. Give me a list of every person that's been killed by drunk driving mm -hmm. in like, si like font that big on the billboard of the, of the past year. That way people are like, wow, I can't even read any of the names, but all those people happen yeah. to have died. I can, well, tell, I can tell you this fact that every year in this country more people are killed in traffic related drunk driving accidents than were killed in the entire Vietnam War. Wow. Let's take a look at what people are saying uh, in the area where this billboard has been put up. When you see it at first you are shocked, a baby with a beer bottle. It kind of grossed me out that there's a baby drinking out of a beer bottle. <laughs> They have talked about it, and it's causing a lot of controversy, which is good, because people start talking, they start doing stuff. Well, I, mean, I agree, that's a good I agree point. with that. that is a good as, point. as long as they're talking Listen, and, as long as and they're people debating are talking, it, yeah. Yeah, and I, I think, you may not agree with it, right? but they're talking but about But there's it. a conversation being started about right. something that uh, needs to be talked about. The kids are going to get the alcohol regardless, though. This is the pro part of the problem. If it's not the parent giving the alcohol, it's somebody else giving the alcohol, or somebody that's like, hey, I'll throw you an extra 20 bucks if you can get us. What well, do you think the answer is? I don't know. I don't know if there is an answer. Well, I think that's prohibited. I think the answer to me, to me, is clear that you start educating these kids from the time they're in first and second grade and you continue to pound it in their head as they grow up. Yeah. That I think edu you never, ever, ever go wrong with education. You know what I'm curious? And it's is, the same with drugs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm curious to hear about what people on the live blog are saying mm -hmm. this morning, Courtney, because uh, obviously a very hot topic in, in rural Connecticut where that uh, billboard went up. Everyone's kind of scratching their heads and trying to wrap their heads around it because they're shocked by it but not understanding the effect. Um, here's what some of the comments are on foxprovidence.com right on our live blog. And uh, Smokey Wolf says, I think it's okay because it gives the message to not give your kids booze. They're saying it definitely gets people talking. And Lisa says, I'm on the fence about this too. It is shocking, but I guess it's supposed to be. And um, we have a poll here on foxprovidence.com. We also have the article with um, the picture of the billboard as well, if you're just catching in with us. Do you think this ad is effective? Your choices are A, yes, it makes a clear point, or B, no, it's shocking and inappropriate. We've also posted this on our Facebook page. Haven't heard from, from anybody yet. We're going to get them to take a look at the segment we have on our website. Hopefully they can weigh in and we can share some more of your comments at the end of the show. But I'll be back in 30 minutes with your official poll results. We're now into the kitchen. Lily, what's going on? Hey, we're talking about